Miracle Ihoma is our guest today for relationships and we've been on a series where there's a lot that we're talking about uh, to on you know since uh, this month and uh, today of course our topic is uh, discussing what discussing common pressure points to expect in the first 10 years of marriage there's a lot that's been happening Miracle it's great to have you you're welcome thank you very so much so let's do a quick recap of what we've been talking about so far you've been here what two two times two now? times two yeah. times now so this is your third uh, this is the third episode. What have we spoken about in the past two episodes? Yes, so the first episode we talked about um, first year okay. couples okay. First year and couple. the challenges that come with that it. Come with it okay. And um, one of the things we spoke about, which was a high point of that discussion, was a lack of preparation for a lot of people. Of course, their first time being married, so um, a, lot of, a lot of things are new to them. New to them, yeah. Yes, so, okay. and a lot of people are not prepared for, for, it. for it. Very true. Yeah, Very and true. it poses challenges, you know, to for them. them. Okay. Yes, and um, the, the second episode we talked about the first five years. Five years, okay. Yes, and we spoke about pressure points like um, in-laws, like expecting a baby or mm. having children or a lack thereof mm. and things like that like, and okay. handling all of those challenges. All right. right. Uh, yes. And so, so we're moving we're further. Last we're adding another five years to it and yeah. 10 years. That is quite something for you to be married 10 years. Uh, you've really seen quite some things, you know. Yes. So uh, these people, they, we could say they have a little bit of experience, right? Yes. So what are these, uh, more, more than a little bit, quite some experience. Yeah. What are the kind of pressure points that uh, we could see in, you know, when you get to that particular stage of uh, marriage? Yes. Um, a major one would be the tendency for complacency. Man, that yes. happens even with, when it's up to 10. I understand <laughs> exactly. Fully, so yes. you've been married for a long time, so you feel like, okay, we're married. Yeah. Uh, so for a lot of couples, they stop doing what they were doing in the initial stage of the marriage. We're almost like brothers and sisters in the house, mm. you know, so... See, finish. Um, see, finish, don't enter, <laughs> that kind of a thing. So th that can really pose because that can begin to make a lot of what we call love dwindle. Right, because there is different, there's love, there's the act of love, there's the feelings of love. For a lot of people, the feelings of love begin to wane and to fade. I think, I think for everybody, if it's if you base on that yes. feeling, it won't always, Ex it won't won't always, always be there. Exactly. Because and it, if for everybody, and that's True. what I think, but of course, I mean, it's not absolute. Yeah. For some people, they could have it, you know, but I think that for more yeah. people, mm. that feeling will, will move out. So, I think intentionality now comes in, right? Exactly. Let's, let's exactly. talk about that. Exactly. So intentionality now comes in, you know, which is what even resuscitates the feelings okay. in the first place. Because for a lot of people, when that feeling is no longer there, they say things like, I don't love my partner anymore. Exactly. I don't love and, my husband yeah, anymore. Yeah, and you know. we, we, we've seen ahead a lot yeah. of times, and, and which is why I get to tell people that, for me, love is deeper than just a feeling. Yes, it is. Know? It's deeper than it just... So, so what are the things that they can do at this point in time being intentional, what are those uh, measures they can take to bring back that yes. kind of love? Aspect? So, like I said, there is love, mm. there is the feelings of love, mm. and there's the act of love. Okay. Usually, the act of love act. would resuscitate the feelings of love. Is when I say the it? act of love, I mean being intentional to do things that communicate love to your partner. I agree, but now, based on what you have done, based on your experience, what's the percentage of people... Because some people say that they've tried those acts and they still don't get that feeling back, like the one, like the way it was. Would he ever get back to that butterfly stage? Can he ever get back to that first kind of stage? Really? Can of he ever get back to of that? Of course. Stage? We've seen people who have been married for as long as twenty-five years or yeah, even more, I, who still have that. They butterfly. say they have. Do they really have? Uh, well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe that mm, they do. Mm. Right, because yes, you can love somebody that much, and of course, from time to time, the feelings will, will not be there. Mm. But you can base your love and your commitment to that person based, based on, on the feeling. feeling. Exactly, well, that is where I'm going to. You've, yes. you, you've hit the nail on the head now. Because if, if we get to the point where we are trying to resuscitate a feeling, yeah. and if it doesn't come, doesn't mean that you can love somebody. Because yes. for me, love is a choice. Yeah, true, it's I agree. That you, you know, you yeah. mean, so so I, I think if we get people to understand more that look. It might not be there like that first time because some people are looking for that. For and that, feel like, yeah. Oh, since it's not there, then it is then gone. Then it's gone. I, I think yeah. that's where people yeah. need to. Yeah, yeah. Like? So, so just like you said, love is not a feeling, mm. and it's something that we need to, you know, ring in the ears and heads of a lot of people. Love is not a feeling. Love is a decision to make a commitment towards another person like without expecting anything in return. 
So love is not symbiotic. Mm. Love is not a feeling. It's a decision to consistently add value to somebody else. So if that's your definition I, I of love... Like this one even better. A decision <laughs> to consistently add, add value. value to another person. And, you yeah. know, uh, there's this interview that was trending. I think it was that about uh, Mecca Ikea. There was something he said in that interview. Forget, I'm not going into the detail, but he said something like, uh, when you're investing in someone, yeah. and like you just mentioned, our value, value. then you're not getting it back. There's a problem. Yeah. Where, where, what if it happens in such a way that there is that two-way, uh, you know, that, 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 that symbiotic sort of, you know, uh, relationship is not there? If, if you are pouring in and it's not coming back the other way, yeah, and after it, such and, a and it happens. Happens. yeah, what, what, how do you how do you deal with that? Yeah, and, and it happens really, just like just like you've mentioned. Um, um, and I tell people that love is not a call to a relationship or love is not a call to marriage. What that means is that um, the fact that I love you does not mean I should be, in, I should be married to you. Mm. And if I agree to be married to you, there are commitments that come with it. Yes. So it means that you, the same way I'm pouring into you, you are also pouring into me. Mm. That's why I tell people all of these 50-50 conversations is really not necessary because it's supposed to be 100-100. We are giving our best to each like other, that. right? And not, you know, withholding anything from the other person. So when it's 100-100%, that's really where you get the That's best it. That out of, understand that commitment. of marriage. So it's not by, not by force you go take on that commitment, but if you're going to take on that commitment, you, have you need to, to understand, understand that there are conditions that there are attached. Inside. And I like yes. it, 100, 100. You know, some people say sometimes one person will give 80, the other person will give 20, but like you said, if you give all of you, yeah. and expect, you know, and then, you know, uh, it, it's, it's unconditional per se True. in, in the such a way. So that's why it's quite a hard thing to really... Uh, you know, to really push through and all of that. So are there any final words that you want to uh, add to that when we're talking about these pressure points now? Yes, so at the end of the day, we all need to keep honing our skills and keep getting better at this. Okay. Yeah, because we don't know it all. No man is an island. And just like every other skill, relationship is also a skill. Relating with somebody else is a skill and it can be learned, right, if it's a skill. So and we can we, know it all. We can know it all. So you just keep to keep learning, yeah, really. you know, keep um, getting better in, at this thing. And if you're humble at heart and you're really ready to learn, I'm sure you will do well. Thank you very much, Miracle. That was quite yeah. an insi uh, insightful discussion. Thank you. you.